Ever get the feeling that there are like 87 different groups out there trying to slow cook you so they can have you for dinner? There were Christians who felt like that in the first century as well. The Apostle Paul gave them some advice in 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Words for Christian men to live by. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. So, don't be gullible and clueless, be watchful. Don't be shaky in your faith, stand firm in the faith. Don't be babies, act like men. Don't be weak, be strong. Now, in our time, when many people here act like a man, they interpret it as act like a jerk or act like a caveman. But you may have noticed the very next verse. Let all that you do be done in love. Oddly enough, whenever I share a verse about love, such as Matthew 5.44, love your enemies, someone always replies, oh, so you're saying that if a homicidal maniac is killing my family, I should just let him because I love him. It seems that people not only misinterpret what it means to act like a man, but also what it means to act in love. I'm not familiar with any sort of love that means let people get away with harming others. If someone is about to harm your family, the most loving thing you can do, not only for your family, but also for the attacker, is to make him stop and to teach him a lesson that he will never, ever forget. Biblically, there's no conflict between, on the one hand, showing strength, and, on the other hand, doing everything in love. Indeed, we need both. Being strong without love will turn you into a brute. Being loving without strength will turn you into a doormat. The golden combination, strength and love, will make you Christ-like. So, whatever the world throws at you this year, whether it's a new pandemic, or political turmoil, or terrorist attacks, or 87 different groups trying to manipulate and control you, be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, let all that you do be done in love. Five rules for life in just two verses. Take that, Jordan Peterson.